Hello, I'm going to do another lesson here on the Duino kit. And I originally planned on using my um, bar graph light meter, my simple light meter code, and for the life of me I could not get that to work again. So since I worked on code with the 10 LEDs, which I think was lesson 2, controlling 10 LEDs, and then lesson 3 was using the potentiometer to, as an analog read, and we displayed it in the um, serial port, and we also controlled that to get the values 1 through 10. Well, what I did is I kind of combined those two programs into the code which I'll attach to this, the LED bar graph display with pot, or potentiometer. So what I'm going to do is I will real quickly upload this code to my um, Arduino processor and show you what I have going. And I left in the serial display. I like to do that when you're debugging and playing with stuff. Kind of helps to see what's going on or what the computer is seeing for your values. Um, again, it's hiding over here. So let me hide it over here. Let me pull my camera back. Okay. So I pulled up my serial display. And as I turn my potentiometer, I am changing. That's my value for the analog value and also the 1 through 10 reading is lighting up my LEDs. Now depending upon exactly how you wired your potentiometer, I wired mine with the positive on the top wire. Yeah, let me tell you about the circuit. Your potentiometer here, um, top wire goes to positive, bottom wire goes to the ground, and the middle wire, the wiper, on the potentiometer, which changes the resistance, that I have hooked into A0. And for the LEDs, I have all of the left side, the negative sides, all hooked together. One jumps to the other, to the other, to the other, and hooks into ground. And on these, I have them hooked up. Starting on the top one, I have it hooked into pin 2, pin 3, pin 4, pin 5, pin 6, all the way up to pin 11, going down the other side. They have a built-in resistor, so I don't have to worry about burning them out. Um, I do not like to use pins 0 and 1 because that's where the communication takes place for the serial monitor and you can see the little green light on your processor is lit up because it's sending these data values um, rather quickly into my value. Now as you can see I have a little bar graph going on here but I have a couple problems and I'm going to leave this in the code and I'm going to show you how to do it. I may comment it so you can see it and know what to edit. But in my mind a bar graph should probably go from the bottom instead of the top. So what I'm going to do is real quickly I have my LEDs in the wrong order. Now I could go through hardware wise and switch all the wires. Start connect pin 2 to the bottom one, pin 3, pin 4. I could switch all of my wires around. But that's kind of the hard way to do things. So what I'm going to do is come along here in my code. This is where it tells what the LEDs are, which pins correspond to my LEDs, the array. And it goes from 2 to 11. So what I'm going to do real quickly is, ah, oh my, maybe not so quickly. I'm going to select this and I'm simply going to put it for 11 through 2. So 11, comma, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. No comma after the 2. And I just renumbered all of those pins. Now let me upload that code. I'm going to transfer it into my Arduino microprocessor. You get your little red and green lights flashing. And now you'll notice the bar graph goes up from the bottom. However, as I turn my knob down, the bar graph goes up. So it's backwards from what I want it to do. Um, once again, I could switch the positive and negative wires on the potentiometer. Um, but another way to do that is I'm going to go down here to the map because we converted those analog numbers right here. We converted 0 to 1023 and we match those up to 0 through 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to match these up to 10 through 0. And what I will do is I will leave these 
in the code so you can start experimenting with them. I'll comment them and leave them in the code so you can uncomment it, get it to work whichever way you need to. Um, let me hit upload and we'll send that to the Arduino. <coughs> Excuse me. And once that's there, I'm going to turn my potentiometer. Sure enough, when I turn it up, my lights go up. When I turn it down, my lights go down. So this now gave me a bar graph for um, my 10 LEDs. Now you could extend this and try hooking in the other potentiometer over here and maybe doing a red and green row if you want to do that. Um, we have not talked about this little circuit yet. That's 64 LEDs and you can use that with rows and columns and it might actually be easier to wire that because you can use one column. They're all hooked together with a common pin and then your your rows for pins 2 through 12 so you could do that on the display. Maybe we could hook up the other potentiometer and start moving it back and forth and be able to control exactly where an LED goes. So let's talk a minute about the analog sensors. There's several analog sensors on here. The most common are probably your potentiometer. This little guy right here is a light sensor, which I'm going to use in my next lesson. I'm simply going to take my wires and hook them up to my light sensor over here so I can vary the amount of light and that will cause my bar graph to go up and down. Another analog sensor you have here is this little black one right here which is a thermometer and we'll do some things with that um, displaying the temperature through the um, serial monitor or maybe on the 1602 we can work with that. Um, trying to think what other analog sensors I have at the moment. Most of them are digital. Digital actually send data. Um, there's a clock module here that sends data. Your infrared sensor here sends data. And your RF transmitter here sends data. So we'll we'll have to we'll have to work on that and um, get a few of those working. I'll be hooking in stepper motors, all sorts of things we can do on this kit yet. So real quick tutorial for hooking up and getting a bar graph control with an analog potentiometer. Tomorrow, or maybe later on tonight, I will try hooking it up to this little sensor over here and show you the simple light meter circuit, which it worked before and I did it on my demo. And um, for some reason, I can't get that code to work. So I just rewrote the code and I'm gonna base it on this little bar graph code right here. The LED bar graph display with pot or with potentiometer. So. Good luck. Let me know what you're building. Um, I will post this on the Show and Tell site and also on YouTube and um, share your comments. And if there's something you'd like to see how it's done, let me know and I can start working up some little demos for some simple projects and help you out. Talk to you later. Bye.